Yo, what is up guys? Tanker here from The Emerald Adventures, guys. And in today's video, we are doing something extremely crazy, guys. And by the time y'all are seeing this video, I'm 15 years old. So, happy birthday to me. Y'all, um, it is not August 6th yet. It is still, um, it ain't even August yet, I don't think. No, it ain't even August yet. Um, so... Basically, y'all, I have been saying, y'all, if I reach 100 subscribers, I'm getting a grand piano. I've been saying it all the time. You know, I've been saying, I'm going to get a grand piano. I'm going to get a grand piano. I'm going to get a nice grand piano. But whatever whatever has came in the way, it's either been, I don't have enough money for it, or it's just too far away to go get. So, guys, we found a piano, guys. I was looking. I've been looking for, like, months and I finally found a nice grand piano. You're probably thinking right now, what are you doing? Why are you filming your trip beside your bed? Well, my iPad's on 4% and I just hooked it up. It's been dead for about four days. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> that's why I didn't have it up. Anyway, I just got back from the fire department. Been working on some stuff there. Anyway, so basically, guys. Um, so, basically, guys, why I have this nice shirt on. You're probably thinking, why are you, so you're going to a fire department in this shirt. We're going to get all wet and stuff. No. Well, I actually went and looked at the piano today and paid him for it. I mean, it's a pretty good piano, y'all. I mean, I mean, it's a nice piano. I mean, it's like, I only paid $1,000 for it. Like, it's in pretty good condition. Um, I paid the lady, the lady that was selling it. We found it on Facebook Marketplace. And um, this piano, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you a little bit about the history of this piano. So, um, ow, my head. <laughs> This piano was um, bought new by a professor in somewhere up in Ohio, Kent State, Ohio. I think that's where it was. It was he was a professor that owned this piano, and um, in Kent State, Ohio, is where the person was where the guy bought it new. And then after that, the guy had it for a little while. I think he used it to play and practice and all that, or do whatever on. And then later on, he put brand new strings on it. Um, I think he put new tuning pins on it, new hammers, all of that. I think he just redid the half the thing, half the full piano. Um, so after he did that, he, um, he, he, I think he played it for a little while longer, and then he decided that he was going to upgrade or do something. Of course, strings itself cost $1,000, so I don't know why you want to string something and sell it, but you know, okay, that's, you know, that's not my business. Anyway, so, um, he sold it to the people that I'm buying it from. I'm not going to give out any names because, you know, you know, just can't give out no names. Um, the people that I'm buying it from are, they're pretty nice people. And um, I went to their house today. We messaged them and all that, you know, started talking or whatever about the piano. And we went today and looked at it. This piano is up in West Virginia, guys. That's where the piano is. Um, it's down past Gilbert, West Virginia. That's where this piano is. Um, of course, I cannot give y'all any specific place in Gilbert, West Virginia. It's, it's not in Gilbert. It's past Wilbert, uh, Gilbert. Um, but it's way past there. I'm not going to give out anything else. I'm not going to give out the county or the road or state or, I mean, the state for the before my talk about West Virginia. I'm not going to give out anything like that. Um, but yeah, so, um, they're just past Gilbert, West Virginia. And that's the people that I'm selling, that sell me this piano. It's a nice, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm just, just going to go ahead and show you some pictures of this piano right here. All right, guys, right it's here. I nice apologize. Piano. Um, I forgot to put the pictures of the piano in the video. I'm very sorry. Just keep watching. I'll, see, again, I apologize. See I think it's like an oak color, like a white oak color. And the keys are nice and white on it. So you, see, you have a little bit of a hard time seeing the keys. Um, but yeah, the, these people bought the piano, back to the history of it, um, the people that I bought the piano from, they had it for 35 years, they paid, the people that bought, the people that I'm buying it from paid $6,000 for this piano, and, um, they just, they thought that their kids were going to do lessons or whatever 35 years ago, and they never did, and, uh, they just, it just sat there for 35 years, no way on the hammers, nothing, it's like brand new. And, um, so, yeah, it's, I mean, 35 years later, they're, um, they got some, fa they got a family member that's not doing too, too well. Of course, I'm not going to give out any more information. And, um, 
they're just they're they're afraid something's gonna happen and she's gonna have move have to move back to Ohio and um and live in a smaller house so she's having the downsize and she really hates to get rid of that piano because it's been in her family for years she says um but yeah and then the, then they and then I found it on marketplace one day you know and then I found it and it was only a thousand dollars I'm like hey heck yeah I'm gonna go buy this sucker so I messaged him up you know you know hit him up or whatever and we're going to go look at a piano. I mean, we we looked at a piano today. It's in great condition. I played it. Um, it's very out of tune. I did some touch. I tuned it up a little bit. I um, only tuned up a few notes on it just to get an idea of what it would sound like when it was all tuned. And I mean, it sound it would sound pretty good. So, um, like I said, there's no strings on it. So I'm basically buying a new piano for a thousand dollars. That's basically what I'm doing. You know, and I could be going to a music store and buying a brand new Pearl River GP150 for about ten thousand dollars. Okay, so that's how much them cost. So, basically, yeah, that's a great deal. One slash ten thousand. I'm gonna go for the one, thank you. <laughs> but anyway, um, I went and go, I went ahead and I asked them right before I left after I paid them five hundred dollars. They wanted half of it, and then they said, um, they said, do you want the bench? I mean, no, no. no. Oh my God, I mixed up my story. I'm sorry. I asked them. I said, can I take the bench? home, you know, while, you know, I mean, because I paid the woman $500 up front. I mean, I mean, I would deserve to, keep, to get the bench, you know. If she would have said no, we'll just give it to you when we get it there. I'm like, no, thank you. You can give me my $500 back now. But, yeah, she she let me take the bench. And um, we were going to, so we told her, on, we told her when we were there that she said that, like, she said that she has a few men that have a pickup truck and they're going to bring it. Um, I didn't hear that part. I was listening. I was looking at the soundboard of the piano and all that. Didn't hear nothing about a pickup truck. So, I've got to get back with this woman tomorrow and tell her not to load it into the back of a pickup truck. And we're going to bring a big U-Haul truck to come get it. Um, this piano is four foot six. That's how long it is from keys to back. Um, but yeah, we'll, um, we'll get it under control. Um, I don't know if we're moving or they'll bring it up. If they bring it up, we're probably going to tell them to keep the legs on it. I'll explain more later. Oh my gosh, this is getting way too long out of hand. Anyway, I I, I can't tell you anymore. It's just it's just so confusing. I'm having to thank and y'all getting bored of this video already probably, and whatever. And it hasn't even fully got started. So, um. Anyway, so let's go ahead and check out this bench. I don't know if I'll be able to film me checking out the bench. I've got to put some pads on the bench so it don't scuff up our floor. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and check out this piano. I'll see you whenever I do this. See you then. All right, y'all, here is the piano bench, as you can see here. It's got a nice leather top or whatever. So we're gonna go ahead and open up this bench and see what's good. Um, let me see here. There we go. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's got a nice uh, cover. This piano is actually not completely a thousand. I actually paid about 1500 for this piano, including the moving charges. So, I had to pay to get it moved. So, it's going to be here Saturday. Um, now, I'm looking at here. I'm looking at these legs. They're loose. So I've got to tighten these legs. See, I need to find a wrench. Uh, let's see here. All right, let's tighten these legs here. I'll come out here. And, because I don't really use tools too much. Let's see, which is... Mm, let's see here what size should I need. Uh, I think this one should be good. Alright. Mom's in there vacuuming. This is the wrench I'm going to use. Tighten this. So, let's see here. That ain't going to fit. Okay, let's see here. Let's go ahead and tighten up these legs. Oh, I hate how you missed the nade. There we go. Oh, I hate how you missed the nade. There we go. Tighten that leg. Just like that. Oh my gosh. Oh! Never mind, I've had. Sorry about that, y'all. So much noise in this house. Oh my gosh. Here comes my little sister. Okay, tighten this one up. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's late. He's late, guys. 
My little sister's coming. She's going to crack out everybody. Get ready, guys. Good morning. Good morning. I'm cutting your legs on my bench. Go on. Oh, wow. Well. I really do not know. Like, I just, I, you know, I really don't. I just really don't. I don't either. This lid wasn't there. I could do something, then. I know it. Is this the old one? No, this is the new one. Okay, new one from concert? No. I ain't got from them. They're still high as a kite. Then what, who was it from? I bought it off Marketplace, baby. Oh. They're looking good to try. Uh-huh. Oh, gosh. What? I was taking these things on the bench here. So the legs don't break when I sit down. Oh, really? Alright, y'all, I think I got the legs all tight on here. I see. Yeah. They're nice and tight now. I'm gonna go ahead and sit down now. The legs are all loose and I got it. I had tight just now. I'm gonna sit down and see what's up to YouTube. Hi, YouTube! Not baby. She's so cute. But she's mean. She's really mean, but she's a cute little girl. Next off, I gotta put pads on here. Um, it feels all up. I like how it feels when you tighten the screws of this thing. Like, it's amazing. I'm just gonna sit this here for now. Apparently, likes the bench already. So, guys, I hit 100 subscribers, so I'm bringing a grand piano here. I, keep in mind, guys, I paid over $1,500 for this piano. Like, it was very, it was, it was actually very cheap. Very cheap right now. Dude, $1,500 is not cheap. That's highly expensive. Not for a grand piano. It's not cheap for a grand piano. Now, if it was an upright piano, that would be highly robbery, all right? So, we have a music store down here. Um, Grand Lace, it's concert. That's it's called Concert Music World. And that's the store we have down here in our area. Um, it's down in West Virginia, and um, it's on this one closest to us. And uh, it's a there. You cannot buy from there. They're high. They, they profit so darn much that you can't afford them. Hold on. Anyway, yeah, this is the bench, and it has some storage in it, so I can open it up. Put my books in here where I need, and I can do this. The drop it will hurt. So I need to put some pads on here. They're supposed to be delivering the piano today in a moving truck. Um, now they work. I was saying they're going to try to use a pickup truck, but they we were on the phone with them this morning, and they're going to use a furniture truck. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, there's no monster. Oh my gosh. Anyway, guys. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and be back in just a little while. All right, y'all. I am back. So um, basically, what's going on is they are bringing the piano tomorrow. They're supposed to be bringing the piano tomorrow. They're going to be loading it up in the morning. Early in the morning, they're going to load it. They're going to take the legs off of it, and they're going to put it in the back of a pickup truck. I'm not too happy. I thought they were going to use a trailer, but um, they said that they couldn't get it. They they couldn't get the truck or the trailer. So, they're just having to use a pickup truck. So, I'm not too happy about that, but as long as it gets here safe, that's fine. So, we got a little area cleared out for it, and... Um, all that good stuff, y'all. We got it good. Um, sorry about the whole fiasco with Brimley earlier and the bench earlier. You know, that bench is, I hate the way that you have to use a wrench inside them benches. You can't put them, you can't position them anywhere. So, um, here's our layout right here. We got air hockey table here, train table there, benches right there. So, right now, what we are going to do is the bench is going to probably be like right what the heck is that a moth i think there's a moth in here a butterfly the bench is going to be right there and the piano is going to be like that for now the end of the piano is going to be like there so it's kind of going like like that right now so we're gonna we're probably going to move this big thing up into the den which is upstairs and then i can move the air hockey table there and my piano can be there on this wall but anyway, guys, I cannot wait for y'all to see this new piano. I can't wait to see it in the home. I can't wait to watch it moving in. That's going to be a fun experience already. It's just to watch them moving in the house. Um, but yeah, I'll probably have to sit my camera down and help them move it in. Because like I said, these ain't professional piano movers. These are just people loaded on the back of their truck. So we're going to have to be very careful because these pianos ain't real light at all. Um, but yeah, um, I was going to go ahead and start the video at the people's house. I mean, I was going to do the video before I went to see the piano in person, but I didn't think the woman would appreciate me filming in her house. I mean, that would look just completely weird. So, um, I, you know, you know, I ain't just going to buggle a marketplace and be like, yo, can I, I would like to buy this piano or whatever and then go to the house and, you know, have a big, I mean, have a big flipping iPad in my hand. Um, you know, that'd be a little weird. So, I mean, you think about it. So, you sell something on Marketplace or whatever. Then someone buys something, they walk in with a humongous camera talk like, all right, YouTube, so this is the piano right here. Like that. That's going to be a little weird, don't you think? So, anyway, that's how we're going to lay it out right now. Later, we're going to put this upstairs. We, we were measuring everything earlier. The measuring tape right there. Um, But, yeah, guys, like I said earlier, as y'all are watching this, I will be 15 years old. This will be my second video, I think, after I'm 15. My first video when I'm 15 will be my birthday, y'all. Let's go. So... But yeah, um, I have some plans for this air hockey table with our videos later. We're going to have like game night and stuff with this. Um, but that'll be later on. Um, but yeah, I just can't wait for this piano and I'll show you a little something else while I'm down here. Hold on. 
So right here, y'all, is the money. The rest of it. I'm just, I don't care to show you. It ain't like it ain't like this is a lot of money anyway. It ain't really a lot of money at all. Um. So basically, um, that's I paid the woman five hundred dollars already. So I'm just kind of showing you. That's one hundred. This is two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, and five hundred. And right here is one. Oh crap. One, two. Three and four. So I'm gonna pay them about four hundred dollars for moving. I think that's what they're gonna charge me to do the move it here. Um, it's about four hundred dollars for the moving. I paid the woman five hundred um, up front at, the, at her house, and this is another five hundred. So the piano was a thousand. So and then the moving is about four hundred. So it's about fourteen hundred I paid for this piano. Um, if they charge me the extra five hundred, I'll just have to go upstairs and grab it. But I don't really. I think they'll be fine with four hundred. I hope they are. Keep in mind, I'm making some pretty good money right now with tuning pianos. Like I have five piano tunings next week. Um. At some churches down down across the road here, I got some piano tunings at the churches. I got five pianos to tune, and that's about a hundred bucks a piano right there. So you know that's about five hundred dollars right there. So I'm just making another one of these, another five of these. So I'm getting some pretty good money, and I'm working working jobs and stuff. I'm doing pretty good. And this is four hundred. They might want to extra five. I might need to go grab the extra hundred dollars. I don't think about it. Yeah, it'll be all right. They might charge a little hundred. Um, they're loading the back of the pickup truck, so I don't think I, I mean, of course, this right here, would you could pay professionals with this, so I think they're moving the pickup truck, so this should be fine. I don't think they would want more. I hope not. Of course, I, you know, what do you do? Go upstairs and go get another hundred. You know, what else do you do to say, no, I ain't gonna pay that much, and they take the piano right back home. You know, so just give them what they want, I guess, for the piano, because it's a really nice piano. It's like brand new. Of course, later on, you know, it don't really matter. If they want if they want every, every other dime I have up there, I'll give it to them, because I could profit about $5,000 off the sucker if I wanted to. If I wanted to get it back, I could just easily sell it for five grand. So, there you go. That's the money that. So this is nine hundred dollars right here, y'all. Oh, nine hundred dollars right there. Hopefully they won't want the extra hundred. That'd be a thousand dollars, another thousand. So I'm just gonna keep that on the bench for now. So only reason I'm showing you this is because it'll be gone by the time y'all are seeing this video. So keep. And no, I do not keep all my money in a piano bench. I promise you. So. Anyway, um, but yeah, that's how we're going to do it. So, guys, I can't wait for this piano to come tomorrow. I'm excited. I hope y'all are, too. Again, guys, thank you for 100 subscribers. I wouldn't be allowed to get a piano like this. Thank you very much for 100 subscribers. Like, it means a lot to me that, I can, that, I've, that I've went this far on YouTube already. But, uh, yeah, just thanks for 100 subscribers. It does mean a lot to me. Um, but, yeah, I'm just very excited. You're probably thinking right now, you might be thinking, hey, you gonna do some more chickens? Are you gonna film us film some more, hatching some more chickens? The answer to that is maybe. Um, I have another load of chickens coming in, I think, next week. Um, I get some eggs rounded up for me or whatever, and then I've got the incubator in the garage and the lamp and stuff in there ready for all of it. So we I might do another chicken hatching video. I might. Um, I would say, you know, I would say, you know, leave a like if you want me to, but of course this video ain't going to be up until I've already done it probably, so. But yeah, I might do a chicken video. I have not hardly anything else to post, so I'll probably do a chicken video. But it won't be a part one and part two. I'll just make it all one video because, like I said, I can just edit it whenever, so I can just make it all one video. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be, that's going to be what's going on here about the piano is they're going to bring it. They're loading it up early in the morning tomorrow morning, so. As they're loading that piano up, I'll probably still be asleep. And, um, I'm going to be sleeping in my sister's room tonight simply because, um, I don't want the light waking me up too early. Because if I get up too early, I'll be like, oh my gosh, what do they think I'll be here? I'm just, like, too excited. I'm way too excited. I'm like, oh my gosh, what do they think I'm the piano? I want the piano now. Oh my God, where's that? Where's that? Um, so basically, I'm going to, so basically what I'm saying is go in my sister's room. The sun doesn't come through the window very much in the mornings at all. And she has pictures there, so it kind of blocks out a little, a little more of the light. So, and I'm sleeping on my sister's bed. She ain't going to be home um, probably for another almost a couple of days because my grandparents went out of town to help my uncle. He's having, I think he had open heart surgery or something like that. But I'm going to be sleeping down here tonight. My sister don't care. Um... But yeah, it's uh, pretty great down here. I like this bed, too. Of course, I got a new mattress, but, you know, I, don't, I like this bed. But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead, y'all, and get off here. And I will see y'all when I'm getting ready for bed in three, two, one.
All right, y'all, I am in the bed about to go to sleep, y'all. Y'all know what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, like I'm ready for bed, everything. I'm all under the covers. I'm ready to go to bed. And when I wake up in the morning, they should be on their way with a piano. So they'll probably be here about noon with the piano or something like that. But I guess we'll just find out in the morning. So I'm going to go ahead, guys, get off here, go to sleep. And I will see y'all tomorrow morning when I wake up in three, two. All right, y'all. I am awake. <clears throat> So this is the first time I've ever talked. This is the first time I've talked this morning. Sorry about that. Oh my gosh. The time is currently 10, 16 a.m. You can't really see it. Yeah, you can't see it. My iPad. But yeah, guys, the the time is 10, 16. I just woke up. They're, they should be. Either, oh my gosh, they should be either loading the piano up right now or they should be on their way with it. I am not too, too sure. I really don't know. So, I think that, I think that um, they should be on their way with it considering that it's 10, it's almost 10 20 a.m. They should, hopefully they're on their way with it. They might be here about 12 o'clock noon. That's what time it was. They could be here. We don't know. So guys, time for me to get up. I left my clothes upstairs. I gotta walk upstairs. I'm gonna make sure I'm up, so. I will see y'all in just a little bit. All right, y'all. So I don't know how good a view y'all have, but um, we are going. Right, so I put the cups that were in my ball piano, or not my ball anymore, but the ball piano that I had. I, uh, the cups that were under it, I put under the little piano in here. So I've got to get the cups out in front of this piano. So I've got to move my little piano out to the wall and get the cups. So it just slides right out and I'm all good. It just slides on the board. Um, so I can get it out easier. So, um, so again, just slides like this. I don't know if I can see it or not. Let me see some couches I can do it out. And you're probably thinking, how are you going to get the cups out in front of this big heavy piano? Well, you can go find out. Just keep watching and you'll see. So right now, I'm just pushing. Just like that. Okay. Now, So yeah, that's a kind of long one. All right, you're good. So now, guys, what I'm gonna do is I have a big block right here. Hmm. Yes, I'm gonna teach you to use this. And what I'm gonna do with this is sit down to the floor and it's a tent, it's a tent. Come on. Pull it down. Just like this. And now, guys, my plan is to take the piano and pick it up and kind of almost grab support and kind of pick the piano up and put it on this. It's going to be a little tricky. Um, let's see here. Let's try it. Four cups right here. Now I'm just taking the piano and roll it back to where it was. Alright guys, that's how you do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I will see y'all guys when the piano gets here in three, 
to our young fans here. Yes, yes, ma'am. Put your fingers up underneath the bottom. Once we go out, it's not going to stop. You don't have to hit your head on the cell in there. That hurt. Everybody good? If anybody needs to stop, say it. Don't keep your mouth shut. Ready? Ready to go. Oh, boy. You good, John? Yes. Yeah. Billy, you good? Hold on. One more time. Mom, stop oh, yeah. freaking out. Okay. This time we're going to sit down on the tailgate, guys. Ready? Go. Hold on to it. Don't let it go. Hold on. Ooh, there we go. Okay, we got it sitting on the... Right there. Right there? Okay, good. Get off. All right. Take a breath. Everybody taking a breath? We good? Yeah. Right here's that piece. Don't let it hit the benches. Okay, ready? No, I got the, hold on, I got the rub. Everybody ready? Go. Don't let it go. Those may, benches may not be heavy enough. Don't let it go. Now we're gonna stand up on that end. We don't want the weight on the benches too much, people. They may not be heavy enough. Right. That's side you said on that end. All right. 
Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Yeah. Well, okay. you might need to. Uh, we all know that bubble wrap. Ready to go. Ready to go. I got this. Go ahead. You guys got that? Oh, don't let it slip. We good? Set it up. Yep. Set it up. Ooh, hold it. Hold it. I hope this is a forever home here. Okay, we good? <laughs> <laughs> the wheels. Huh. Everybody just take a break at the moment. And y'all packed this thing nicely. We did. Y'all know what y'all do when I know that. Uh, I told you, I've been... <laughs> I am, uh... I've been moving. Okay. Everybody good? You good? You guys hold it. Hold, hold it straight. Stay off the road. Probably need to flip it and slide on it if you need to use it. Okay. Lily, come off the It's got dust, but I'm not going to lie to you, it's got dust, no doubt. Once we stand this up, I'm pretty sure they still know how to, because oh. these, these build up in those, yes, so let him put those on and this on. All right, so right here we are um, about to tip the piano down, but uh, while they're doing that, I am going to be showing you one of my favorite songs. It is called The Old Upright Piano, and you're probably thinking that has nothing to do with a grand piano. I just want y'all to hear the song because it's a pretty good song, so um, I, I, I know it's not a grand piano, and it says upright piano, but you know, who cares? It's a good song anyway. 
Um, I want y'all, I want to see what y'all think, so uh, let me know what y'all think about this. I'm going to go ahead and play it now. Down here, 
Now I've got a slide. Oh, that's okay. Huh? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. 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 Right, come back. Oh, right. What are you doing with the dog again? I guess it's right there. I don't know. That's okay. 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 That's okay.
I needed to get it adjusted. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Um, this is my new grand piano. This is a Kimball. Um, thank you very much for watching, guys. Thank you for 100 subscribers. Um, um, thank you for everything y'all do. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Um, and by the time y'all are watching this, I'm 15 years old, guys. I'm 15 years old by the time y'all are watching this. Right now, I'm still 14, but um, you'll, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be 15 when y'all see this. So, I'm going to go ahead, guys, and get off here, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Um, but, yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Um, love y'all. I love the sound. And I will see y'all in the next video. Stay safe. Don't get coronavirus. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.